Strider is a side-scrolling action-adventure game released by Capcom for the Nintendo Entertainment System in North America in 1989. While the development of the NES version of Strider was produced in tandem with the arcade version, the Japanese version for the Famicom was never released. The NES version of Strider is included in the 2006 Game Boy Advance compilation Capcom Classics Mini Mix. Plot Set in a dystopian future during the year 2048, the game centers around a secret organization of high-tech ninja-like operatives known as «Striders», who specializes in various kinds of wetworks such as smuggling, kidnapping, demolitions, and disruption. The player takes control of Harayu, the youngest ever elite class Strider in the organization. Harayu is summoned by the organization's second-in-command, Vice Director Modich, to assassinate his friend Kane, who has been captured by hostile forces and has become a liability to the Striders. Instead of killing him, Harayu decides to rescue Kane from his captors, he is successful, and also recovers a recording from Kane concerning a suspected criminal plot. With the help of his fellow Strider Sheena, Harayu uncovers a conspiracy between a certain faction of the Strider organization and an unknown organization known simply as the Enterprise, headed by a man named Faces Clay, which involves the development of a mind control weapon codenamed Zane. In the course of finding and destroying these Zane units, Harayu learns that the faction of conspirators is headed by Vice Director Modich himself. Harayu eventually tracks Modich to an orbiting space station where the two Striders face off. After a brief battle, Harayu bests Modich and kills him. Afterwards, Harayu locates and destroys the last of the Zane units. In the epilogue, it is revealed that though Harayu was asked to return to the Strider organization, he instead opted to retire. The final credits show him discarding his weapon and walking away. Gameplay This iteration of Strider differs from the arcade version in that the player must find clues and items to progress. The game opens on the Strider's base of operations, the Blue Dragon, which transports Harayu to various areas across the world. At the beginning of the game only Kazakh is available, but eventually the player unlocks Egypt, China and Africa, among others, by collecting discs. These discs contain information pertinent to the plot, provided by several characters who often also grant Harayu new abilities. New abilities unlock previously impassable areas, forcing the player to backtrack to obtain new items and discs. To return to the Blue Dragon, the player must return to the beginning of the area and jump against the uppermost left edge of the screen. All the areas in Strider feature elevator-like transport tubes which the player can enter from below by jumping or above by crouching. The player will then be moved along the path of the tube until reaching its exit. Tubes may or may not allow the player to enter from both ends, it is possible for a tube to send the player back to a much earlier part of the level, or even a different level entirely, with no convenient way to return. Harayu's main weapon is his cipher, a plasma-generating blade with a tonfa-like handle known as the falchion which he uses to slash enemies or stab them from below by raising it into the air. In some areas of the game, it is necessary, but difficult to leap off walls triangle jump, in order to access areas otherwise impossible to reach. Harayu's strength level will increase after he accomplishes certain mission objectives such as capturing enemy officers, which extends his health and energy meters, the latter of which enables him to use acquired skills. These skills include attacks, health recovery, or the ability to warp back instantly to the Blue Dragon. Another technique available is the possibility to fire a plasma arrow, a type of projectile attack by raising his sword, known as the cipher, and keeping it upraised until it flashes. At that point, the bolt can be shot with the attack button. The player can use passwords to keep track of their progress. Of particular note, each time the player requests a password, the game ends with a brief description of the game's progress so far which depends of Harayu's current level and gives a title for Harayu's next adventure, similar to a television series or anime. <laughs> <laughs> development 
The NES version of Strider was conceived as part of a three-way collaboration between Capcom and manga studio Moto Kikaku, which also included the Strider Harayu manga by Tatsumi Wada serialized in the manga anthology Comic Computique and a separately developed coin-operated video game version. Unlike the arcade game, the NES version of Strider closely follows the same storyline depicted in the Strider Harayu manga, which involves Harayu fighting against his former Strider allies. The Family Computer Famicom version of Strider Harayu was first announced while the manga version was still in serialization and was scheduled to be released in Japan following the collected edition of the Strider Harayu manga in the fourth quarter of 1988. However, the Famicom version was delayed to a 1989 release before it was eventually cancelled. The NES game was still localized for the North American market and released shortly after the arcade game in 1989. For their package art above right, Capcom contracted for game illustrator Mark Erickson's vision of Strider Harayu wielding his plasma-powered cipher against an enemy guard and his bayonet-equipped AK-47, against a backdrop of Russian-inspired architecture of the sort found in the gameplay. Their decorative red star motifs shared the stage with minaret style domes prominently suggesting the St. Basil's Cathedral in Red Square, Moscow, also employed by the illustrator for his rendition of Tengen's Tetris, in 1988. The Soviet Union, at that time three years from collapse, was selected only as the visual inspiration for the Enterprise Empire by the design team staging the packaging design. Manga Before the release of the Strider arcade game, Comic Computique a monthly anthology published by Kadokawa Shoten serialized a Strider Harayu manga illustrated by Tatsumi Wada from its May to October issues in 1988. A single collected volume was published in November of the same year. The manga features the same characters and basic plot that was later used for the NES version, but with several differences to how the story transpires for example, whereas Strider Kane dies before the final stage in the NES game, he manages to survive in the manga version. In addition to the six main chapters, an uncollected chapter titled Strider Harayu Gaiden was published after the main series was completed. The additional chapter depicts the circumstances involving the death of Harayu's sister, Maria. Reception Some outlets have said the game does not capture the arcade version of the game well, making it nearly an entirely different game from its arcade counterpart. <laughs>